Hello and welcome to Before You Buy. This week's subject is Ravel's 64 Ford Fairlane Street Machine 2-in-1, part of their special edition series that includes optional parts and new tooling. 125th scale, skill level 2. Some of the features are 127 pieces molded in white. Of course we have that 427 V8. Optional stock wheels with dog dish hubcaps plus two sets of custom wheels. Decals with stock factory, custom, and drag race graphics. So you could easily call this kit a 3-in-1 with the stock, custom, and drag racing options. Here's a couple of looks at your options. A few more of your built-up, your exhaust options. And here's a look at all four wheel options that are inside. Really cool to see all the options available. This kit is from 2008. And to speak on that new tooling, one notable thing is the hood, as this kit derives from the 1990 release of the Thunderbolt. So we'll take a look inside and see some of that new tooling, and I will have a separate video to do a comparison side-by-side -side with this one and the original tooling. But let's get on inside of this one. And everything is still bagged in this kit. We have our windshield and rear side glass. We have that back glass, some of our headlights, vent windows. Here's all of our white styrene in a bag. Got all of our tires here. Nice set of slicks. Stock set of tires, some skinnier tires, our chrome, Got a couple of wheel sets there, and the rest of our chrome package. Getting inside, of course we have our instructions with decals, and another small chrome segment with our dog dish hubcaps and air cleaner parts. Let me get everything unbagged and we'll take a closer look. Okay, I know that everything's unbagged. We can get a little better look at everything. Start off again with the clears. Nice windshield and quarter windows. They are nice and clear and real thin. Here's that second window tree. Back glass, headlights, side vents, marker lights. And these are the screens for those grill openings. We do have a pair of red taillights. They are kind of that dome shape. Real nice casting there. We can move on to the tires. We have a set of four for the street machine or kind of a modern style tire. Good tread there. No branding on either side. We have four of those. And then we have a setup for slicks. Nothing on one side and they are branded Race Master Dragsters on the other. Nice set of pie crust slicks. And those companion tires are these front runners. Kind of a straight rib. Again, plain on one side and branded on the other. With Dunlop Road Speed. Good looking set of tire options. And we'll jump over to Chrome. We'll take a look at the wheels. Here you can see that top row of Keystone Classics. Really good looking set of wheels. And these are kind of like a radar pattern. Looks like we have a shifter there. Headlight buckets to fill those vent holes. This is an air cleaner for that duct cleaner. Here are some of our new tooling, which are the four dog dish hubcaps. And just a standard air cleaner there. Here's our main chrome tree. The grill. You can see the centers are open for that ductwork if you want to go that way. Looks like we have a chrome alternator. One valve cover. The other one just came off the tree. So we've got a hood lip molding there. Here's our rear grill and bumper combo with the Fairlane emblem there. Pair of wiper arms, door handles, rear view mirror, our dual quad high rise intake, and there's our dual quads. 
and there is our front bumper real nice and the fan did fall off of this tree that does it for the chrome and we can move on to the the white styrene we'll start her off with the body real nice casting very prominent moldings on it and we've got that quarter one and then we got the 427 up front real good looking real good looking body there and we can move on to the interior tub this is the back seat molded in but we have some nice detail on the doors do have some texture for carpet there's our front seats seat backs steering wheel there's the duct work for that air cleaner here's the thunderbolt hood we do get that in this one so that's nice to see again easily could call this one a three-in-one so look at the underside of that and we'll take a look at the companion to that hood and here is our flat stock style hood very nicely done great addition to the kit and here we have some wheel backs some strut arms sway bars here is our dash nice dash there we have our steering column with shifter on it a pair of pedals I'm gonna go with those wheel backs we do have a set of six steel wheels have stock set and a little bit larger rears there one piece of exhaust and muffler there radiator support and radiator nice detail work there looks like another wheel back off to the side here is our floor pan we have a gas tank and the front frame in there but it is nice and sharp good detail yet we do get optional automatic or manual transmission in this kit there's our springs there's our engine halves and heads for that 427 another tree a nice set of headers here really good looking drive shaft those might be quarter window covers the rear differential and springs belt and pulleys some more wheel backs and wheel parts another set of rear wheels part of our frame the horn some steering components and torsion bars another part of our differential a coil there overflow tank and water pump and I believe this is part of some more of that new tooling. A nice pair of exhaust with mufflers and tips. Kind of a semi-open there, which is really nice. Good looking addition as well. And I think that does it for all of our styrene parts. Take a quick look at the instructions and of course the decals. Traditional Ravel book style instruction manual i will have pictures of all the parts and the manual at the end so if you need to pause and zoom in you certainly can here's a look at our decal placement and let's take a look at those decals here those are good looking set of decals we got those nice blue flames so we have a little caution badge there white or black gauges 427 fender emblems license plate it's like a black red or white stripe option we do have some of our ford embleming here's our drag racing badging the far out fairlane and the coyote auto center incorporated 427 ford first on race day we do have some car numbers there nhra I believe that says Fairlane 500 and some red striping there. Really nice set of decal options. Again, whether 
you want to go stock custom or drag in this kit that's a really nice one to pick up again as usual i will have still pictures at the end and remember that there is a comparison video out there if you'd like to see that i will have a link in the description of this video and the original 1990 edition video and with that thanks for watching